praises to Yahweh, the maker, maker and the creator of the heavens, the earth, the sea, and all that in them is. Hallelujah. No praises go to me. All praises go to the mighty Yahweh because I'm nobody. Let me continue. Proverbs 28, verse 1. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. And that's how we know the wicked flee. Whenever we talk about any of them false deities, the Christian deity, the Muslim deity, the wicked flee, and I'm not even pursuing them. Let's continue. For the transgression of a land, many are the princes thereof. But by, man, but by a man of understanding and knowledge, the state thereof shall be prolonged. Verse 3. A poor man that oppresses the poor is like a sweeping rain which leaves no food. Verse 4. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. This is a very important scripture right here because... Um, those that forsake the law. I know many people that forsake the laws. Um, the law of not eating certain things. Swine, for instance, pig for all y'all. The law and commandments of keeping the Sabbath day. I mean, all the laws and commandments, they forsake them because they praise the wicked. Right? Let me read that one more time. They that forsake the law praise the wicked. That's why they forsake the law because he died so they don't have to keep the law. He died so they can eat pork now. He died so they can worship all the pagan holidays. Because he died for them. Let's continue. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek Yahweh understand all things. Evil men don't know judgment. They think right, wrong is right and right is wrong. They think, you know, they, they want to talk about homosexuality. They think right is right, wrong and wrong is right. That's why it says evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek Yahweh understand all things. Why? Because us that seek the almighty, we understand right from wrong. We understand the commandments. That's wrong. That's right. Verse six. Better is the poor that walk in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. People don't believe this. That's better. Than, better is the poor that walk in his uprightness. Than he that is perverse in his ways, but be rich. We got a lot of rich celebrities that are perverse in their ways, talking about perversity. And to, in most people's eyes, they are better than somebody who's trying to sit, walk in uprightness. Let's continue. Whoso keepeth the law is a wise son, but he that is a companion of riotous man shameth his father. Verse 8. He that by usury and unjust gain increase his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. Usury, bribery. Let's continue, though. Verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. And we know that most people we deal with, their prayers are an abomination. The Almighty said that a uh, man should not wear that which pertain to a woman, neither shall a woman put on a man's garments. And our people hate that. They turn their ear from that. They're like, oh, let him let him rock, rock a dress. What, what are you? Who are you? So he that turned away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer should be an abomination. You turn your ear, oh, you're not supposed to eat the swine. The Almighty said don't eat the swine. Oh, turn, I'm, they turning their ear. They don't want to hear the law. And their prayers are an abomination. And they think their ignorance is going to save them. Let's continue. Whoso causes the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit. But the upright shall have good things in possession. So why do people want to cause the righteous to go astray in an evil way? Why do they want to do that? They say, oh, man, you a virgin? Why are you a virgin? You need to get yourself some. Come on, bro. You, a, you ain't. Oh, Nigga. Whoso causes the righteous to go astray in an evil way. You got to tell these kids the right thing. Let's continue. Verse 11. The rich man is wise in his own conceit, but the poor that have understanding searches him out. When righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory. 
but when the wicked arise, a man is hidden. He that covers his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. So he said, let me read that again. That's a good one. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. What does it mean to cover your sins? Ignore them, act like it's nothing, and continue to do it. Hide it from the world and continue to do it. But the Almighty said, he that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. Continue. Happy is the man that feareth alway, but he that hardeth his heart shall fall into mischief. As a roaring lion and a raging bear, so is the wicked ruler over poor people. The prince that wanteth understanding is also a great oppressor. But he that hateth covetousness shall prolong his days what does it mean to hate covetedness you're not supposed to desire someone else's stuff you're supposed to hate okay if i see he has these shoes on i don't want to take his shoes i might want to buy my own but i'm not going to covet my neighbor's stuff because it's his stuff you're not supposed to have your eye on it like you want to take it or you want to have it that's coveting your neighbors. Let's continue, though. A man that does violence to the blood of any person shall flee to the pit. Let no man stay him. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved. But he that is perverse in his ways shall fall all at once. He that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread. But he that follows after vain persons shall have poverty enough. A faithful man shall abound with blessing, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. To have respect of persons is not good. For, for a piece of bread, that man will transgress. What does it mean to have respect of persons? That means because he's rich and he's poor, even though this rich man did not pay that poor man who worked for him, who deserved that money, you're going to side with the rich one because that's your friend. You won't have respect to persons because you because he's got more money than him. Even though he wrong, that poor man worked all day. He need that food to bring his children. But you have respect to persons. That's what respect to persons is. So it said verse 21, to have respect to persons is not good. For a piece of bread, that man will transgress. He that Hasteth to be rich, have an evil eye, and consider not the poverty shall come upon him. He that hurry to be rich, that hastes to be rich. He that rebuketh a man afterwards shall find more favor than he that flattereth with the tongue. That's deep. Verse 23 says, he that rebuked the man, that means you corrected that man. You told him something that he did that was wrong, Right? He that rebuketh a man afterwards shall find more favor than he that flattereth with his tongue. And he that's going to tell him all the good things, ain't going to tell him how he messed up, ain't going to tell him how he can improve himself. Just going to flatter him and say, oh, everything, oh, it's just so perfect. He that re rebuketh a man afterwards shall find more favor than he that flattereth with the tongue. Let's continue. Whoso robbeth his father or his mother and saith, is it, it is no transgression. The same is a companion of a destroyer. You robbing your mom and your father, man, that's stupid anyway. Let's continue. Any dumb, any dumb person does that, rob their mother and father. Mm. Verse 25. He that is of a, good, a proud heart, stir up, up strife. But he that putteth his trust in Yahweh shall be made fat. So he that is of a proud heart, stirs up strife they want to fight they want some problems if they got a proud heart an uplifted heart a haughty heart an arrogant soul they all that in a bag of chips they want to stir up so they want to tell everybody they want to cause problems you ain't nothing 
Let me read it again. He that is of a proud heart stirreth up strife. But he that put up his trust in Yahweh shall be made fat. That means the humble, we're going to be, we ain't, we ain't pride, prideful and proud. Verse 26, he that trusteth his own heart is a fool. But whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. What does that mean? Because people are always talking about it. They do what's in their heart. They say, he, they say, he that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. What is a heart? The heart is your seat of emotion. The heart is your seat. You sitting. It's where, that's where your emotion lays. That's your heart. I'm not talking about the mind, per se. You're talking about your emotions. And if you trust in your emotions, no, trust in what the Almighty said. Because sometimes your emotions can get you in trouble. Trusting in your heart. All right. He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack. But he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. So it's good to give to the poor. Find a way to give to the poor. Find a way to do that. You know, sometimes you don't want to give the people you think they're going to get you to get some crack or something. But if you can find a way to give them uh, food directly or whatever, however you want to do it, give them water bottles every time you see them, whatever. Give to the poor. When the wicked rise, men hide themselves. But when they perish, the righteous increase. And that's Proverbs 28. I want to give all praises, all glory, all honor to the Holy One of Israel, whose name alone is Yahweh, by saying hallelujah.